the Bible was right. Terrifying new discovery in Euphrates River. The Bible is full of prophecies. And while a lot of people may not believe in these prophecies, what if they are real? What if these things talked about in the Bible will and already are happening? One of such prophecies is the drying up of River Euphrates, and it is surely happening. Join us in today's video as we explore the shocking and very terrifying new discovery in the River Euphrates. Watch this video to the end, as the discovery is sure to blow your mind. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. Now, let's explore. The Bible is more like the Constitution for Christians. However, more than a constitution, this book contains a plethora of terrifying prophecies, some of which borders on the end of the world. Christians, as well as other religions, believe that the world is going to end in a very devastating way. But before it does, a number of signs will follow. While we don't want the world to end, what if whatever we are experiencing at the moment are signs that have already been prophesied? What if the catastrophe in the world now is only a tip of the iceberg? What if there are still more of this mayhem to come before the world finally ends? Well, that is what we are about to find out in this video. Where is the Euphrates River? The Bible mentions a lot of rivers, from the Jordan River, the Red Sea, the Nile. However, Euphrates is arguably one of the oldest and most significant rivers mentioned in the Bible. This beautiful but now endangered river originates from the confluence of two small rivers, the Murat River and the Karasu River, located in the eastern part of Turkey. The Murat and the Karasu rivers originate from the highlands of the Armenian Plateau and the Taurus Mountain and are both significant parts of the Euphrates River. The Murat River is also known as the Eastern Euphrates and is said to begin near Mount Ararat, the fabled resting place of Noah's Ark. The marvelous body of water Eastern Euphrates gathers its water from various tributaries and streams as it descends through the rugged terrain of eastern Turkey. The Karasu River, also called the Western Euphrates, originates in the Munzur Mountains and merges with the Murad River near the town of Keban. At their confluence, these two rivers join forces to form the mighty Euphrates. From this point, the Euphrates flows southward, carving a path through the Anatolian Plateau. This river has been mentioned several times in the Bible, in different parts and for different reasons. In fact, some believe that Euphrates is the river of the Garden Eden. Euphrates was mentioned in Genesis as one of the four rivers that flowed out of Eden, along the Tigris, Pishon and Gion. These rivers are described as branching out and encompassing different lands signifying the abundance and fertility of the region. Also, in the book of Genesis, Euphrates holds significance in the story of Abraham, the revered father for many nations. In Genesis 11.31, it is mentioned that Abraham's family dwelled in Ur of the Chaldeans, a city located near the Euphrates River. It was from this region that God called Abraham to leave his homeland and embark on a journey to the Promised Land. There are other parts that the river was mentioned, like in the book of Exodus, with scholars suggesting that the land of Midian, where Moses stayed after he fled from Egypt, is located in the vicinity of the Euphrates. Also, the Euphrates was mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, Joshua and Jeremiah for different important reasons. However, the important mention of the river was in the book of Revelation. This apocalyptic vision given to John saw the drying up of the river as one of the signs of the end of the world. In Revelation 9.14, the Euphrates is associated with the sixth trumpet of judgment. 
where an army of 200 million is said to be released from the region beyond the Euphrates River, causing a great destruction. This imagery symbolizes the massive scale and intensity of the judgment and the destruction that will come before the world is judged. But that's not all. In Revelation 16.12, the Euphrates River is referred to as a drying up river, preparing the way for the kings from the east as part of the apocalyptic events leading up to the final battle. This is our main concern. And this leads us to the next and most crucial question. Following what is currently happening to the river, is the Bible right? Are we approaching the end of the world? Or is it a function of climate change, as scientists have claimed? Well, let's find out. What is happening to the river Euphrates? Our world is undergoing a massive degree of changes, some of which go unnoticed. Well, the river Euphrates and its companion Tigris are very important rivers. Therefore, the slightest change would be recognized by the appropriate authorities. The Euphrates and Tigris have been a lifeline for civilizations throughout history, nurturing thriving communities and monumental cities in the cradle of civilization, Mesopotamia. However, with the recent studies and scientific report that paints a disquieting picture of a river system in distress, this lifeline is on the verge of becoming a significant blip in sands of time. While this is just a report and the distress is not physically noticeable, governmental organizations are already expressing serious concerns. In 2021, a government report was released issuing a grave warning that the Euphrates along with its companion, the Tigris, could run dry by 2040. The combination of dwindling water levels and recurrent droughts, driven by the effects of climate change, has cast a shadow of uncertainty over the region's future. In 2013, NASA's Gray Satellite captured crucial data that unveiled a startling reality the Tigris and Euphrates Rivers Basin have experienced an alarming loss of freshwater. A staggering 144 cubic kilometers, measuring 34 cubic miles, have vanished since 2003. This ridiculous rate of decline places the Tigris and Euphrates Basins on the second fastest depleting groundwater storage globally, trailing only behind India. That's not all. The GRACE data reveals an alarming trend in the Tigris and Euphrates river basins, showing a significant decrease in total water storage. This situation is deeply concerning as it highlights the urgent need for sustainable water management practices in the region. As expressed by the principal investigator of the study and hydrologist and professor at UC Irvine, J. Femiglady, the result of the declining water levels and the potential drying of the Euphrates River are far-reaching. It would not only affect the cities, it would also affect farming communities that have thrived for thousands of years on the Euphrates River as their source of water, posing them with an uncertain future. Also, the availability of water for irrigation, drinking and sanitation is at stake risking the livelihoods and well-being of millions of people. While all these consequences are important, they are the last important if the Bible prophecy is considered. Although we are trying to maintain composure and not to be dramatic, what if these prophecies are real? And the recent happenings are pointers to the end of the world. The correlation between the prophecy in Revelation 16 and the ecological state of the Euphrates River is undeniably intriguing. It prompts us to contemplate the significance of these events within a prophetic context. Amidst the alarming situation, the impact of the Euphrates River's decline is becoming increasingly evident. Following the 2017 drought, the rate depletion became particularly pronounced. Complicating matters further, the lack of coordinated water management among the affected countries, stemming from different interpretation of international laws, 
exacerbates the strain on the river system. The consequences of a total collapse of the Euphrates River would be catastrophic for the region. Millions of people in Turkey, Syria and Iraq rely on the Tigrid Euphrates for their water needs. As the rivers struggle to meet demand, disputes over water access among nations have intensified, hindering effective solutions to the crisis. Moreover, water scarcity poses a significant threat to public health. A recent report published in the British medical journal, BMJ, sheds light on the mountaining health emergencies in Iraq due to the population's struggle to access clean water. Diseases such as diarrhea, chickenpox, measles, typhoid fever and cholera are spreading across the country, with the government no longer able to provide vaccines to its citizens. While caution should be exercised when interpreting ancient prophecies, it is remarkable how the Bible's predictions regarding the fate of the Euphrates River seem to align with the monumental changes unfolding today. While not a direct confirmation, the current situation serves as a stark reminder of the far-reaching impact of ecological transformations and the need for collective action to address these challenges. While we must exercise caution when interpreting ancient prophecies, it is fascinating to see how real-world developments align with scriptural passages. The potential drying up of the Euphrates River certainly raises questions about the unfolding of end-time events. As the world witnesses the declining water levels and ecological challenges faced by the Euphrates River, it serves as a reminder that ancient prophecies continue to captivate the imaginations of believers and scholars alike. This brings us to the end of today's video. Do let us know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing and intriguing content. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.